Well, we've been talking about Irish music and you've been listening to some previously and you've heard the Irish fiddle. I showed you the baran, the Irish drum, and of course, I played for you some songs also on the penny whistle. So we bit of a jig. Well, now it's time for another Irish instrument. And this time we're going to do some singing. Remember, we've been listening for whether the music is major, happy, upbeat, whether the music is minor, sort of sad or mysterious. And we've been talking about the meter, whether the music is getting two beats, one, two, one, two, three beats, one, two, three, one, two, three, or four beats, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So let's check out this next Irish instrument and then we'll learn a new song. So now we are going to go on to another instrument that you would find in Ireland and that is the Celtic harp. So I don't have a Celtic harp but you do have Miato harp and they used the Celtic harp as a model to make the auto harp that was made in America. So can you see the similarities there? So this one has keys so I can play chords automatically instead of having to use all my fingers for it. And I play it a lot. So I'm going to sing for you an Irish story and I'm going to teach you the chorus and we're going to decide on the meter of this song. But first, let's learn a little bit about the song, about the story behind the song. So a long time ago in Ireland, there was a maid, that was a girl, and her name was Molly Malone. So she's Irish, she had red hair, and she lived hundreds of years ago. Now in Ireland, we talked about it's an island, so there's a lot of fishing going on. And the people who sell the fish are called fishmongers. So they would get the fish from the fishermen and they would walk the streets and they would sell it. They would also sell things like clams. They would dig them up in the mud along the shore and they would sell them fresh to eat. So if you've ever been to the beach, you might find some seashells. Well, inside lives an animal and when you dig up the clams and you boil them in hot water, then it opens up and you can scoop out the meat and you can eat that. And some people really like that. Also, they had mussels. So you might have seen a shell like this along the beach especially if you walk along the piers and the rocks and the tide pools and they're called mussels and inside they have a meaty um, animal also that the shell will open up. And in the song they talk about cockles. Well, this is the kind of clam, cockles, and they have what we call a ribbed seashell and they would dig them out of the mud and then they would boil them up, they'd open up and they'd scoop it out and eat it, um, make clam chowder, um, cockle chowder and soups and just eat them. So cockles and mussels are in the song. So the fishmongers would sell the mollusks, the cockles and the mussels, and they'd sell the fish from the fishermen. So this is a story about Molly Malone, and this is her wheelbarrow. It's had two wheels, like a little wagon. She'd push it along the streets, and she would sing, like we've talked about in Hot Cross Bones, the street hollers. She would sing out, cockles and mussels. Now, in the old days, they didn't have refrigerators. So if the food, the, the animals were fresh, 
they would still be alive. So she would say, alive, alive. -o. So if our cockles and muscles, our things are still alive, then we know that they're fresh and we're not going to get food poisoning from them because they haven't been sitting out too long and starting to rot because people could get sick from food that sat out too long because they didn't have refrigerators. So we're going to learn the chorus that you can sing with me and then I will sing you the story about Molly Malone. So in the chorus, she's going to sing Alive, Alive-O, Alive, Alive-O. So, because she wants them to convince them to buy the food. So it goes like this. that was in. Did that feel like one, two, one, two, or one, two, three, four, or did it feel like one, two, three, one, two, three? Let's try it and see if we can figure out the meter. Alive, alive, oh, alive, alive, oh. Do you feel that one, two, And then she says, crying cockles and muscles, alive, alive, So crying cockles and muscles, and then back to alive, alive, -o. So try singing the chorus with me. Here we go, and it sounds like the meter of three. One, two, three, here we go. Alive. discovered the meter is three while I'm singing you can go one two three one two three and when you sing the chorus you can do alive alive oh alive alive oh crying cockles and muscles alive alive oh so you can keep the meter for me all right, here we go. And I'm going to give you six beats. So here's the story.
So this song is so famous in Ireland that in Dublin they actually have a statue of Molly Malone. And this is, I drew a picture because I couldn't get it printed out on my printer. So I drew a picture of what the statue looked like of Molly Malone pushing her wheelbarrow through streets broad and narrow, singing cockles and mussels, alive, alive -o. So I hope that you enjoyed a wee bit of Irish music. And our major and our minor and our meter, and this one was in the meter of three. One, two, three, one, two, three. So I hope that in the future you can enjoy some more music from Ireland.